welcome back to the channel. Uh, good news and bad news and some updates. We're going to do uh, Q&A with some requests. Um, let's get started. So the Red Cat Everest 10, here's the deal. These are Injora tires with steel rims. Stock servo, stock shocks, stock everything. I put on lights. Really easy to install. But this is the little Onyx setup that I switched out from this here. Okay, so I switched all that out, took that out. And I put in the Onyx brushless motor and EC combo. Full speed right here on the stock gear. Uh, that's about it. So if you couldn't hear me on there, this is, I'll give you a full run speed. That's full takeoff. And it's still a weak battery too right now because it's been out here a bit. But. See, it's spinning tires. Now, let's see here. It is the, those are the numbers, okay? Shows you how it goes. It's got punch settings. Tells you motor specs. Uh, troubleshooting. It's a pretty neat little setup. We tried to put it in one of the granites. Um, wasn't happy about it, something was wrong. Come to find out the ESC was toast. So it didn't matter what we put in it. It wasn't gonna run. So ended up with this one here, putting a little Onyx setup in. Oh. And it is such a nice little, little setup. It comes with the fan. It comes with your switch that I have wired here. I'm not doing a tripod video today because I want to take you along with here and show you how it's hooked up. So the motors here, the wires, okay. You have this here. It fits right in there so nice. And there is no room left. So this here on the back is touching the motor on the other side back under here this screw on the inside is touching the motor <coughs> so up front here it's all good though but right in the back not so good see that so i had to do a little bit of sanding on the oh, got a rock in there on the a little end here, rod end for the link. And then it was fine. It just needed, I mean, just a fraction that you take off of sandpaper. So I haven't really done anything else to this. I'm really excited and want to do some more to it. And, um, you know, dual steering and I'm happy with the motor setup. It's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. Something that gave it power and you could get into some trouble and get out of that trouble. So before it was just kind of, eh, <laughs> it was cool and it was slow, but it didn't have any power to do anything really, except for just go around on flat ground. So now we're gonna test things out like um, the shocks. So we're gonna get, oh, and before I get into the shocks, this is what I was going to put in here, the quick run fusion two in one. This thing will not fit. It is the size of the 3S Arma motors. It will not fit the casing in here. It sticks out to like here and nothing will fit. So when they sold me that one, they boo-booed. Okay, so next we're going on to lizard shocks. And the lizard shocks are, yeah, hard to get out, there we go. These things are pretty cool. You tear them apart and then you put uh, the springs inside they got little ones here. They got, uh, it's a dual setup inside. It's 
pretty cool. We will get into that on another video and get these shocks together, but for now, this is what we're gonna have in there. It comes with the full build kit, different spring rates, so you can do drop or more raised, and I just want something really super soft. So one of the uh, new subscribers said, it looks like I need shocks. <laughs> Yeah, I sure do. Uh, these things are, they bind, like, see that? Like, as soon as, it, I mean, there's nothing here, and you think, oh, this is great, you know? No, there's there's no way. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've done everything I could to make them softer. I haven't rebuilt them or put new oil in or anything. I don't know if that would work, but it, they seem like they've got the softest of soft they can be, and they still just don't, so... Um, yeah, it gets stiff, and I think there would be a lot more action in this truck if we could get it softer. So if anybody out there is building one of these, has built, uh, knows what they're talking about, have gone through the process, you know, drop me a comment. I would love to hear what people are doing to get this thing some more action. Uh, the wheel twist when it comes up off the ground and does this number. You know, I'm sure there's other tube videos out there that shows what to, how to take care of this. I don't really have a whole lot of time to go through everybody's videos, so uh, kind of learning and doing as we go. So if anybody has any information, please drop me a comment. Okay, so back to what we're doing here. Just a little setup here, 3S style, IC5 plug. I'm going to put in a full bearing kit. Okay, there's the number for this from winter evening. I'm sure they're like that plug. I love their bearings. There's another one I get bearings from too, and they're pretty doggone good. So the desert, uh, desert, uh, lizard shocks, is there, yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get that on there. They're 110 millimeter, and I'm thinking maybe 130 millimeter for this truck, I don't know. I'm just guessing, shooting from the hip. Okay, so that's those. Uh, also, I wanna put in some steel gears. Ooh, that was fun. And here is the transmission gear set for this. All right, good. That's done and out of the way. So let me tell you about this little thing. Um, we love it. Watch the video if you can of it going out. Uh, it's really, really cool. These tires do hit a little bit on that inner joint right there. Okay, so. Maybe after we get the steering knuckles on or something, that'll change. But for now, it's not cutting the tire. So until it does, I'm not going to worry about it. These tires are really cool. Lots of grip. And they don't seem to care what's in front of them. I, I'm really, really impressed with these. They were not that expensive. They are an Enjora tire. And they're made for crawlers. I believe they're a... I don't remember. Is there 1.9 or 2.2? Anyways... Our wheel kept falling off on the front here on both sides because the nut that's in there is for like the granites and the slash and all that stuff. This needs a flatter nut because the axle stub is shorter, not very long. So there's not much meat to bite onto onto this. Isn't that a sweet? We really like this for it being everything else stock, stock gears, all that. Um, Let's see what the stop gear is in this red cap because somebody asked me what the stop gear is. I don't know what the stop gear is and we're going to find out. So in the book here, I'm not sure if it's going to say or not. It should. Well, let's find out. Well, that's all that stuff. That's some mumbo jumbo. And I'm not seeing any really big specs on it yet. Um, just numbers. Oh, let's see. Maybe we have maybe we have the gearing back here. But at least it's got all of your parts, how the actual original tires came, which are total junk, by the way. Okay, well, here's all the replaceable stuff. You got your servo mounts, a servo, battery pack, the trays, the motors. Wow, they got your bushings and everything here. That's really sweet. And the, the numbers that go with it, so you can get it right from Red Cap. And I'm sure if there's any upgraded parts that can go in there, they, they have them. 
Huh? Check that out. Now, where is the daggum gear? Show me the gear. Well, it's a 38 tooth on the main gear. But. Box gear set complete. Oh, 13 tooth on the pinion. The drive gear. Uh, motor. Do they show what the motor is? Looks like they got some upgrade parts too. Look at this. Hey, this is fun. Check it out. They got center mounts, steering arm mounts, and this is all aluminum. Okay, so that is a 87 tooth spur gear with a 14 tooth motor pinion gear. Okay, and that's stock. That hasn't been changed yet. So until I figure out what else is going on with this beast, um, that's going to stay the same. I would like to eventually do new all the way across aluminum, some really tough stuff up here. Um, you know, just really beef the crap out of this thing. And only underneath here, I'm not really, I don't want to go too crazy on this. I just want something that's going to go out and rip it up. That's all. And stay together. So if we build it right, that should happen. Um, we're looking forward to the full roll steering though. That's gonna be sweet. And I don't know about the drive shafts. So if anybody has information on good, bad, don't do it at all, <laughs> going up to steel or aluminum, drop me a comment. All right, so if there's anything else you want me to know about this truck that I don't know yet, because we're just learning, drop me a comment. And uh, tell me what's up. Tell me I'm being a bonehead because I went and did this to it. <laughs> I don't know. So there's the Everest 10. That's what we're doing to it. Um, anything else I can answer? Drop me a comment with a question or a request, and I'll get to you as fast as I can, folks. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you want more of this on the certain videos, drop me a comment. Let me know which ones you like, and we'll keep making them. Other than that, have a good time, build something cool, subscribe to us if you like the content, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>